In today's episode, a Fiat will drive backwards, a Porsche will be a Miata, and a building will be called Matt. This is one of the last things you want to hear while off-roading your new Jeep. Volkswagens are not only reliable, but also easy to fix. Volkswagen, das Auto. Here is why installing a roll bar should be one of your priorities when you buy a older Miata. This is a rather unusual Fiat 600 with a V6 engine. I cannot decide what is more weird, the fact that the engine is inside the cabin or that the front wheels are bicycle wheels. Either way, it is pretty fast. Here is a classic from the Polish internet. True happiness comes from the simple things in life, just like pushing a Citroen Xara to its limits on the Nürburgring Nordschleife. One of my viewers had the cool opportunity to record the fastest jet-powered semi-truck. It is powered by a Pratt & Whitney jet engine from a T2 Buckeye jet trainer. Apparently, it managed to reach 376 miles per hour in a world record run. Here are some accessories for a Miata that you could have ordered directly from the dealer back in the 90s. It ranged from basic stuff like special wheels, hardtops, ducktail spoilers, boot racks to some very cool accessories like a ski rack or a body kit. The Fiat Maria may seem like another boring car, but people in Brazil do stuff like this to them. One of my viewers recorded this race car catching on fire on the Paul Ricard racetrack in France. Luckily, the driver made it out of the car without any injuries. Whoa. Here is Ryan Newman saving his car from the wall during a qualifying session. The next time you are stuck in a traffic jam, just relax and remember it could be worse. For example, like this road in India that is leading to a mountain resort that was opened after COVID restrictions were lifted. This super cool red rod that started life as a semi-truck and has an air suspension
here is a Porsche 924 sliding in the snow. Back when it launched in 1976, it was a massive success. But these days, it is not liked by the Porsche enthusiasts, since this was originally a Volkswagen project. I personally like it. What about you? We have bad news from the guy that tried to keep his 10mm socket safe. Boys, I have terrible news. The emergency 10mm is gone. Alright, boys, I'm on top of the tower now. The 10mm is gone. The only thing up here is the 9mm. Honestly, I have no idea how the 10mm fell, but the 9mm is still up here. But now I legitimately need another 10mm. I'm honestly still low-key believing that 10 mils now just walk away. This is how the average pickup truck looks after tuning it in GTA Online. Hydrogen cars do not emit any gases, only water. Sometimes it can be even clear enough to be drinkable. Still, Toyota does not recommend to drink it since there is always a possibility of pollution. So much water. <laughs> well, there it is. It smells like the future. Freshly made water from the hydrogen fuel cell, Toyota Mirai. Almost everyone knows about the legendary 2JZ being one of Toyota's best engines, but a lot less people know about the 1UZ. It still remains as one of the most reliable V8 engines, found in a lot of cars made by Toyota and Lexus. Also, it sounds pretty good. Here is your weekly dose of Ignata shooting flames. This is how the Audi RS6 sounds like. The Alfa Romeo FNM trucks had a very interesting transmission system. Unfortunately, I did not find any information on how this transmission works. So maybe someone who watches this video can explain it in the comments. That would be greatly appreciated. That's everything for today. All sources are in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. That doesn't make sense.